Hi guys, my name is Danny Ives. I run a mixed martial arts gym in Annapolis called Ivy League Mixed Martial Arts. And uh, today we're gonna do a little bit of a gi technique here, one of my all-time favorite techniques, okay? So, we start here from the sitting guard. And this is what the sitting guard generally looks like. And you see a lot of guys use this, guys like Marcelo Garcia is very good at this. Uh, Leo Santos is very good at the sitting guard. What it is is uh, it's the positioning of the legs and of course you're gonna be sitting up. You wanna make sure your elbows are on the inside and your elbows are in, okay? Not extended. We wanna be here, okay? The footwork, I mean, everyone's a little different. Some guys say go here, you know, other guys say go like this. I was always taught to have my weaker leg, because I'm right-handed, my, my weaker leg tucked in, and then my right leg, my strong leg, would be up and then angled a little bit. Not like this, but here. And then again, the concept really is the same. No matter who teaches you, they usually say elbows in, and I agree with that here, okay? Traditionally, sitting guard sweep, one of the best ones you can use is what we call sitting guard sweep, okay? It's where you would scoot into the guy, you would grab his bell, or back and knee, and even if you want to grab it, you would go to the seat here, drop this, your shoulder down, lift, up and in the cross body here. And which, I think that sweeps really good. It's a little more difficult to pull off without the knee, but still a good sweep. Another good way to do this would be to come here, open the knee, if you have the knee, and grab it right here, okay? I want to get myself out on the angle, make sure that I keep my right leg on the inside. I like to keep my left foot Poking on the outside leg here, but I don't think this matters that much. It's kind of whatever you like, from the inside or outside. We get here, we go to sleep and sweep most of the time. But what happens is sometimes you can hear that counter you, he just steps that leg up or he gets the hand away from here. What you want to do is you want to take that leg on the outside here, you want to poke that hand and come here, okay? If you're right on the side of the opponent. Now, if he's good, which bottom name is, he'll probably do wizard in the arm. This is what we would call a wizard. You see, bottom name kind of overhooking over my arm here. I can't really get my arm out, I can't go to the back, okay? So I don't want to re-roll back in. One of my favorite things to do is I'm going to come up, okay? This is going to work real good if his head is down. I come up here and I lock my hands right here over the shoulder, okay? I like to take a palm to palm gable grip. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive straight into that shoulder here. I'm going to throw my hips in the bottom of these hips here to bring him up and over. Then I want to stay on top, maintain the control position. So again, from here, the original move would be to come here, get that knee. We come here, we would reverse. That would be the easiest thing to do, okay? But so, sometimes, and most of the time, you're dealing with high level opponents, you come in here, you get this grip, bottom game counters, it makes it a little more difficult. I post my hand and I let go of the sleeve. By posting the hand, it's going to allow me to throw my leg back and come here. Again, if his head is above mine, this is difficult. This is going to work best when his head is below yours and if he's throwing a real hard wizard in here. I'm coming up, and I'm right here. Okay, locking my hands again, right over the shoulder. Now, I'm gonna drive into the shoulder here, and I'm gonna throw my hips into it, bring him up and over, and I wanna make sure I bring my hips back to his hips here, so he can't bump me out. If I stay here like this, he might pop his head out the side, and come out the back over me, and then we're dealing with a big problem there, okay? So one more time, guys, we're here. I come into my position, I feed the gi, everything looks pretty good so far. I come in here, bottom knee counters, I come out. Once I'm here, guys, again, I'm coming up and over the shoulder, right here. Driving into the shoulder, make sure my hip comes into it, come back, up and over, and finish. Hope you guys enjoyed this technique. For more information, feel free to visit my website, www.ivyleaguemma.com.